Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am so excited because ever since I posted my Taylor Swift vinyl collection, the number one comment I have been getting is to do a Taylor Swift CD collection. So that is what we are going to do today. I have all of my CDs laid out right beside me and I am so excited to share this with you guys. I, for one, love watching merch videos, like any merch videos at all. Like I will sit down, I'm sat watching them. So I'm really excited to start doing more merch collection videos on the channel. It's just over overwhelming to be honest so that is my new year's goal for this channel is to do more merch videos because I love making them and I also love watching other people's videos of them so that is what we are going to start today before we get into the CD collection if you are new hi my name is Alexis I am a huge Taylor Swift fan and I also have a TikTok and a Instagram where I post almost daily Taylor Swift content. So if you are interested, those are all linked down below. This year is all about more social media breaks. So who knows how daily those posts will be, but they are linked down below if you would like them. Also a disclaimer, because I know there will probably be some questions. I have a lot of duplicates of some of the CDs that I will be showing you. That is solely due to the fact that as a little tween girl, I was a huge Swifty. So for Christmas, for my birthday, for any holiday gift giving activity. Taylor Swift CDs is what I would usually get from family members or friends. So there are a lot of duplicates of these CDs that I own, but that is just because my friends and family knew what to get me as a little 12 year old girl. So, <laughs> all right, without further ado, let's jump in to the CD collection. We are taking this one era at a time, as Taylor Swift likes to say on the Eras Tour. So we are starting off with debut. All right, so for my debut collection, we have obviously the normal cover of debut self-titled album. We also have another copy of that one. And then we also have a debut karaoke version. I don't think they even make CDs like this anymore. Do they make karaoke versions anymore? I have no idea. <laughs> now moving on to our extended debut era, we have the holiday collection CD. This is of Taylor's holiday songs. I think there's six songs on this one. And the cover is from her Teardrops on My Guitar music video. Super cute. <laughs> then we have Beautiful Eyes. This is Taylor's EP. This also had six songs and some music videos, I think. It comes with a CD and also a video DVD. All right, now moving on to Fearless. We have some good ones in this little collection. Starting off, we have the regular version of Fearless and also another copy. Then we have the Fearless Platinum Edition. This had the audio CD and the video DVD. And then I think this one had like the behind the scenes. Yeah, they had the like the behind the scenes of the music videos, which I loved as a kid. I rewatched those so many times. <laughs> then I have the Fearless Japanese version. So this one had a different cover than the US version that I just showed you. This one I actually got when I lived in Japan a couple years ago. On the back, it says bonus tracks for Japan include Beautiful Eyes, Picture to Burn, I'm Only Me When I'm With You, and I Heart Question Mark. But I think this alternative cover is so cute. All right, now to Fearless Taylor's version. We have the regular cover of the Fearless Taylor's version. Then I have the signed Fearless Taylor's version that I got off of Taylor's website. This video is going to be so hard because I'm trying my hardest not to get the glare in the freaking CD. I chose a really bad area to film, but. <laughs> then we have the Japanese version of Fearless Taylor's version. These are my absolute favorite. So Fearless Taylor's version came out when I lived in Japan. So I went to my local CD store at the time and bought the Japanese version of Fearless. And it comes with some pretty cool stuff. So let me show you. So first of all, it is absolutely huge. This is the regular CD and this is the Japanese special edition. So it comes with the Japanese translation of all of the songs. And then when you pull it out, it looks like this. And then it has the Japanese translation of all of the lyrics. And then this is the CD display that it comes with. So it has these beautiful pictures behind the CD. And then it came with this huge poster with all of the lyrics on it and all of the tour photos. And then on the back, it spreads out to a whole Fearless Taylor's version poster. <laughs> Super cute. And we are not even done because Japan goes all out. You also get a little Fearless Taylor's version sticker and a little guitar pick that has the cover on it. These were my absolute favorite to get. I have a few Japanese versions of the Taylor's versions and these are 
are so cute. All right, moving on to Speak Now. First, we have the regular edition of the Speak Now CD. The back cover is still my favorite thing in the entire world. And then we have Speak Now karaoke version. And then we have two copies of the Speak Now tour CD and DVD. This came with the audios of the entire set list and also the DVD version of the entire tour. I love these CDs, they're so cute. And then of course we have Speak Now Taylor's version, which this cover, she knew what she was doing, okay? She knew what she was doing. Unfortunately, we do not have a signed copy of these because they were never created. So, just, just this one. All right, moving on to red. All right, the first thing I have in this era collection, I have the 22 single CD. I got this off of Taylor's website when red was released. It is number 1,857. I also have the We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together single CD. My little 12 year old self decided to open it and put it in this little CD case. So I don't know if that was a good or a bad idea, but she did it and now she's here. This one is number 2,371. All right, this is where the duplicates start to come in, okay? So don't blame me, blame my friends and family for knowing exactly what to get a little 12 year old. We have the regular version of red, an unwrapped version of red, another unwrapped version of red. We got red karaoke another red karaoke, and two copies of the red deluxe edition. And then lastly, for red original version, we have this Zine pack. This was released through Walmart, I believe. I believe I got it red release week, but I'm unsure. This is a limited edition version of red. So it comes with the CD and it's almost like how the lover diary booklets were a little and maybe like the reputation magazines, but it had the like lyrical booklet in it. And then in the back, it had pictures of her from this era. This one also came with, I believe, a postcard and red guitar picks, but this was super cool and they sold this at Walmart. Moving on to Red Taylor's version. We have the Red Taylor's version signed. I also have another unsigned version, but it's in my car and a girl was too lazy to go and get it. And then we have the Japanese special edition of Red Taylor's version that I got when I lived there. And let me show you what is inside. So once again, has the little translations of all of the track lists. So it looks something like this, and then it has the big booklet, and then once again, the double-sided little CD stand. It's not even a stand, it's like a display. The Japanese translation of all of the lyrics. And then of course, the cutie little guitar pick that says Red Taylor's version. I love these things. <sighs> All right, we have come to 1989. Listen. I'm not even gonna blame my friends and family on this one, okay? This was all on me. Whoever gave me money as a 14 year old girl, you really need to self reflect. That was a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the original 1989 and then move into Taylor's version, okay? And be nice to me, please. In my defense, okay, we did have lots of Polaroids to collect, okay? Technically, this is Taylor Swift's fault. I'm a victim in all this, okay? We're gonna start the original version off with this single CD that I got from Taylor's website before 1989 had come out, but after Shake It Off had come out. This is the Shake It Off single CD. It's still wrapped. I'm not sure what number this one was, but very cute, very good collector's piece. All right, now to the CDs. I'm gonna fly through these. There's no reason to harp on the same copy 10 times, you know? We got 1989 Deluxe version, 1989 Regular Edition, 1989 regular edition, 1989 regular edition, deluxe edition, regular edition, regular, 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 and deluxe, okay? I cannot be held responsible for what my 14 year old self did with her own money, okay? I can't. Moving on to 1989 Taylor's version. I also can't be held responsible for what my 23 year old self in October did with her money, okay? I can't. <laughs> there were multiple reasons for this. I wanted to buy them at Target, right? Because they came with a poster. I also wanted to buy them on her website because they came with Polaroids, okay? I'm trying to make this relate to girl math and I'm, I'm unclear of how it does, but I'm gonna say it does. All right, for 1989 Taylor's version, we got the original cover, another original cover, the Rose Garden cover, the Aquamarine cover, I think I'm saying these right, Sunrise Boulevard cover, and then again, 
some some repeats, okay? Some repeats. We had to collect the Polaroids, okay? I was healing my 14-year-old self. I had to. And that's it for 1989, okay? I'm done. I'm done. Shall we move on to Reputation? I think so. <laughs> All right, first copy of Reputation I have is the regular CD version. These actually also came with a little poster. This is one side of the poster, and on the back we have this. This is stunning. All right, then I have the Japanese version of Reputation. This didn't come with anything special except for like the, obviously the Japanese translation. But inside there was also a poster and it was different from the one that I had. I don't know if all the CDs had different posters. I can't remember. But the Japanese CD had this one and then on the back, we have this one. And then lastly for Reputation, we have both of the magazines that were sold at Target. These both came with the CDs and then cute little inserts. So this one is volume one and this one I assume is volume two. Here are the covers and then here are the back covers. All right, moving on to Lover. All right, first we have a regular edition of Lover. This is just the regular CD. Then we have the deluxe versions, which are the booklets that were sold at Target and I believe they were also sold on her website. I don't know if they are still on her website, but I know that they bring them back periodically for like different holiday sales, Black Friday sales, all that jazz. So I have all four of the different volumes. These also include the CD. And then I have the Lover box. This I actually got at a record store when I lived in Japan. So let me show you what is in here. We got a pop socket that is actually on my old phone case. We have a cute little tote bag some temporary tattoos, some cute little picture cards, and then the CD is also in there too. And lastly, from the Lover era, we have the Lover Special Edition Japanese version of Lover. This one unfortunately does not come with a little cutie guitar pick, but it's beautiful. Like, are you kidding? Are you joking? This is gorgeous. And then of course the Japanese translation and then the regular little booklet. All right, what's next? Folklore. We are nearing the end. So for Folklore, I know that there were different covers of the CDs. I only have the regular um, cover. So we have first copy, second copy, and then two signed versions of Folklore. Moving on to Evermore. We have a signed copy of Evermore, and then we have the Japanese special edition version of Evermore. This one is thick. Okay, let me show you what is in here. First, we have a little slip of the Japanese translation, and then, okay. And then we have the CD, and then inside here, we have three little postcards, super cute. And then it came with this 2021 calendar. So basically, it's like a stand like this, okay? And then each card is a different month and they're really cute album pictures and you just like let it stand like this unfortunately we're not in 2021 anymore but um this is super super cute all right and lastly we have midnight all right i'm gonna go through this i don't remember the variant names i'm gonna have to think about it too hard so we're just gonna go through them we have the lavender target edition we have the blood moon version we have this variant and then the normal edition and then we have the late night edition this has the extra um songs on it like you're losing me she sold this originally only on tour um, and then she ended up selling it for her black friday and holiday sales on her website and then we got two signed copies of midnights <sighs> and that is it we are done <laughs> that was my taylor swift cd collection thank you guys so much for watching and requesting this and wanting to see it i am so in love with every single merch video i watch i will seek them out I will sit in my bed and watch them over and over again. So it's a lot of fun to be able to make these kind of videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more content, I am always active on Instagram and TikTok. All the Swifty content you could ever dream of. So I will have those linked down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had the best new year ever, ever, ever. 2024, we got it in the bag, okay? This is gonna be our year. And if you'd like to see anything else on this channel, just let me know. Comment down below. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have the best day ever and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!